the other or the full list Cameron Boyack from Shildon and one or two others maybe I've mentioned Lee Emanuel Chris O'Hare Tom Lancashire Jake and Charlie's right on the curb two laps to go Jake Whiteman a little boxed in there Toby's just closed that gap if you like now O'Hare will always use those little bit of elbows just to keep the room you just watch what he does see that just just eases himself through there and always putting himself in the right position. So Charlie on the inside, Jake Whiteman, Tom Lancashire following, keeping an eye on O'Hare. But this race has not got going yet. Two minutes five. And here comes Tom Lancashire. Suspected that Tom might think I'm better off with a longer run for home. It's windy down the back straight though, Paula. So you don't want to overexert yourself too early. Yeah, that's what we've seen in a couple of the races so far as people move wide and start to make a move down the back straight and then realize just how windy it is and back up a little bit a little bit of a stumble there i think chris o'hare maybe his back legs were just caught up in that but nobody's gone down thankfully well everything that we said about chris just uh, almost uh, becoming a cropper there because i think it was what was going on behind him now he moves out lancashire on a good position charlie grice a little bit boxed in there looking for a bit of room jake whiteman in a great place as they hit the bell here it's the five big names emmanuel lancashire o'hare grice whiteman this is a big sprint who's got the best 400 meter pace really that's what this boiling down to here just over 300 to go O'Hare looks poised. Whiteman in a good spot. Charlie Grice might want to just make sure that, that he does that. A little bit of pushing elbow. Tom Lancashire goes. That was Charlie giving them a bit of a push in the back. Whiteman keeps clear of the trouble. So it's O'Hare. Whiteman now kicks hard past O'Hare. Charlie Grice tries to follow. Top two, of course, to guarantee for O'Hare and Grice. And Jake Whiteman is trying to upset the party for those two. Give himself a chance of Olympic selection. Charlie Grice ready to go again. As Whiteman got a bit too early with that real burst down the back straight. Charlie Grice looks as though he's going to hang on for this. O'Hare checking no more danger. Top two's good enough. It's Grice and O'Hare. 3.43 the winning time. The two men who knew that a top two finish would be good enough delivered and they have guaranteed their spot in Rio. Scrappy race, not a great race in terms of um, times ending. We weren't expecting that, Paula, but these two did what they had to do. I must say that Tom Lancashire will feel uh, aggrieved because he was pushed over down the back straight and of course if that was deliberate by or deemed to have been deliberate by Charlie Grice, the officials might have a look at.